the quick way and the slow way of working out percentages. Okay, you remember that? Okay, do you remember talking about that? Okay, do you remember us talking about the two different ways of uh, working out percentages and stuff? Like if somebody says um, an item cost, uh, I don't know, $80 and the tax is 12% because that's what it is here in BC. The slow way or the quick way, I mean, that's not any official terminology or anything. That's just what I call it. The slow way is to figure out the tax and then add it on. That's two steps, right? Okay, two steps. Figure out the tax and then add it on. The quick way is to just combine the percents beforehand. And then you can do it in one step. So the, the slow way is to say, find the tax, right? So 12% of 80. If I want to do 12% of 80 and I have a calculator, what's the best way to do that? What do I punch into the calculator? I put this as a decimal or I put it as a fraction. You have two options, right? You can, If you can see that it's 0.12, just put that in, 0.12 times 80, and it's going to give you some number. Or if you don't trust yourself to turn it into a decimal, you could put 12 divided by 100 times 80 as a fraction, right? I'm going to put or here, because you could do either one, whatever you're more comfortable with. Then after you find the tax, then add to original price. Right, then you add it on to the original price. What is that what is that tax? What's what is that tax? I'll move the calculator over here. So we have 0.12 times 80. 9.6, what does that mean? How much is that? 9.6 dollars? 9.9 dollars 60 cents, right? Either way you do it, whether you do 12 divided by 100, because that's what 12% is. And then you say $9.6 plus $80 is $89.60. Not that that's that hard. So I'm not saying it's the slow way, like it takes half an hour to figure it out. I just mean that it's two steps instead of one. Right? First you have to find the tax, and then you have to add it on. The quick way is combine percents first, if you can, right? Combine percents first. Then there's only one step. If you have the original price, the original price is 100% of the original price. Plus you're going to pay 12% tax, so what do you pay in total? You pay 100% for the price and you pay 12% for the tax, right? This is the price. This is the tax. So what's the total? Percentage-wise, the total is 112%, is it not? You're going to pay, you pay 112%. So then you can do it in one step by just saying 112% of 80. This is a, this is a tough concept to really understand, I think, um, in grade 8 is working with percentages greater than 1, for, greater than 100%, first of all, but adding the percentages before you figure it out, right? This is probably more intuitive to you that, that you would do if you you know just went to work the problem out. But I want you to realize you can combine the percentages first. 100%, 12% gives you 112%. You're paying for the original price, and I know I've showed you this before, but right, think of it like that. You pay for the original amount, like this Pringles can here, right? There's the original, there's the added part. The whole thing together, this whole thing, this Pringles can is 125% of the original. You have the original can, you added some on. It's the same thing here, right? You have the original amount, you have the tax, so together it's 112%. Tax, put the tax on first. 112%, you can either go 112 divided by 100 times 80, or you can do 1.12 times 80, whichever you're more comfortable with. 
And then you'll get the answer right away, 89.60. Now I know that it looks like I did more writing over here than I did over there, but it's only because we're doing all the explanation, right? You can jump right to this, and that's your one single step that you're going to do, right? There's one step. Now, what if there was a few percentages that were that you cannot combine, okay? Sometimes you can't combine percentages, right? Um, let's. I didn't call the first one example one, so let's. Well, but we'll call this example two here. Somebody, give me an item that you might be buying. Last time we had a TV, so what are we buying now? A what? iPod, okay. Um, although I guess we shouldn't be advertising for a specific company on here, so we'll call it a... No, we'll call it an iPod. How much does your iPod cost? $200. Uh, but today only, although Mac things never seem to be on sale, but we'll say it's on sale for how much off? You want to say 20% off? Sure. 20% off. Eh, sometimes they put things on sale, but 20% off. Uh, but then there's also tax. How much tax is there since we're buying it here in BC? 12%. Should we do 12% again? How about if we say that you drove to Alberta to buy it, or you happen to be in Alberta, because the tax there is only 5%, because they don't have a provincial component to it. So what we want to do here is we want to find the total cost. Find the total cost. We have a couple of percentages here that we're going to use. So let's think like that Pringles can again. You have the the red part of the can. I guess we could use, doesn't matter, but now we'll use blue. Um, you have that original part of the Pringles can, and then there was the other part tacked on the top, right? Like that, right? Can you can you think of a similar model here? If that's the original price, but you're taking off 20%, you get down to here, right? That's like the cost, right? You're, you're getting rid of part of it when you take 20% off. But then which way does the tax take you, up or down? Up, right? It's going to go back. It's going to take you up a bit. The big question is here, if you start at... Um, if you take off 20%, but then add on 5%, can you combine those? I'm going to say here, can you combine, because this is another difficult concept in grade 8, can you combine the, I'm going to call it minus 20% and the plus 5%, can you combine those two to get minus 15%? Can you combine them like that? No, no, yes, you you cannot, okay, no, you can't, what's the reason for that? They're two different, well, they're, they're percentages of different numbers, the 20% is off of this price up here, the original price, right, you're taking off 20% of the original price, but what are you adding on, 5% of the original price? Of the sale price, right? Of down here, right? This number goes up from there. This is 20% of that. This is, uh, this is my, it's, it's 20% of original price. And, but it's 5% of the sale price. They're percentages of different things. Percents of different numbers, you can't combine them. Okay, so you cannot combine them. But you can still do it a fairly quick way, okay? You can still do it a fairly quick way. It's not going to be that you just are going to be able to multiply it by one single number. But you can do it, you can do a quick way. I'm going to put here, you can still do a, a fairly quick way. Okay, quick method. Here's the quick method. The quick method is you, you can start with your, how much did it cost? $200. And I, I've showed you before where you have to think about this. 
you have to be thinking here, um, 20% off. When you see 20% off, what does that mean the same as? How much do you pay? You pay 80%, right? means you pay 80%. Because that's, that's the quick way. Instead of figuring out 20% and then subtracting it, you can just say you pay 80% of that. That's how much you're going to pay. 80%. That's the sale price. Right? That's the sale price. Sale price is 80% of 200. You don't have to figure out 20% and then subtract it. You can just figure it 80% and you got the sale price right away. You can figure out the sale price. It's going to be $160. But you could do it in one step in your calculator if you want because once you get the sale price, what are you going to do with it? How do you figure out the tax? So you need one more thought here. This thought is going to be green. Um, total cost is... How much are we paying? If we're adding on 5% tax, what's the total percentage we're going to pay of the sale price? We pay 100% of the sale price plus 5% of the sale price. What's the total percentage I'm going to pay? 105% of sale price. So you can do this in a quick way because you can say 105% of sale price. 105% of sale price. 105% of 80% of 200. Does that sound kind of goofy? 105% of 80% of 200? It's it's goofy, but it's what you pay, right? You first figure out 80% of 200. You get an answer. And then you do 105% of that. If you want to do it in two steps, you can. Because you could move this down here. You could figure out an answer for that. And then you could work it out. But you can also just do it in one step if you want like that on your calculator. So let me show you. I think this would be a good time to show you the calculator. You could do this. You could say, I want to know what 80% is. So I'm going to go 80 divided by 100 because I don't trust myself turning it into a decimal. 80 divided by 100 times that gives me $160. That's the sale price. How do I do 105% of that? What do I multiply it by? If I want to, if I want to do 105% of that, 105% is 105 out of 100, right? So I can just go times 105 out of 100. Or if you're good at doing the decimals, you could have said, here's 200 times 0.80 because that's 80%. And you could even go times then my answer times 1.05. You can do it in one step if you want to get there that way. You can just say, start with 200 times 80% to get my sale price times 1.05 to get my total cost. That's a lot quicker than figuring out each thing, then adding or subtracting it every time. All right? You could do it the long way. Here's the long way. The long way is to say 200 times 20%, get an answer to that, and then go 200 minus 40 to get 160. And then you can say times 0.05 to get the tax. Whoops. 0.05 to get the tax. And then you can say 8 plus 160. That was four different things I had to punch in to get there. Whereas I can do it in one step if I realize I start with 200. I'm going to pay 80% of that. And then once I get an answer to that, I'm going to pay 105% of that answer. And you get there right away in one single line on your calculator. Okay? $168. Are we okay with that? Yes, no, maybe? If you want to incorporate those things into what you're doing, that would be a possible part of what we're uh, what I'm aiming for here. I want you to I want you to be able to combine percents when possible. Again, notice you can't combine the 20 and the 5 here, but you can still do something a fairly quick way. All right, can we get started on continuing on with section 4.4?